my crafty friends. It's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm thrilled to be with you here today to talk to you and share with you a new die that we have out. It is called the Soup Pocket Die. I am thrilled to be with you in the studio here in Perrysville, Indiana. My husband Tom and I run our business called Creek Bank Creations and today we're going to talk about this fun little soup pocket die. So this is a die that you add to the front of a standard A2 card and I'm going to show you how to make this version of it today. The pocket fits on the front of the A2 card which enables you to put a treat in the pocket but we still have that A2 card. So I'm going to share with you first some different versions of this and you can see here I use the hot cider on it. This is the version we'll make today since it is the fall 2022. And then um, this is our B stamp and um, matching die set with the soup pocket die. And we have the um, Lipton's cup of soup on there. The pocket that goes on the front of this that is optional for you to add I actually sized to fit a standard size tea bag, so you can stick that on the front. And there's a little trick you can do with the spoon. Now you'll see here, we have a little plastic spoon on here from the Dollar Tree. And over here on this version, I die cut a spoon. And that is our new knife, fork, and spoon die set. So either way, it's a fun look or you can totally leave that off and make a card like this. This is our new Christmas cookie paper pad and it has the hot chocolate in it. So you can see, you can just play around with it. I went to our local dry goods store and got some little mini marshmallows and put them in a Ziploc, added them. And y'all know that we travel quite a bit. And I noticed in the hotel last week that there was a package of coffee and sugar, cream, and the little stir sticks all together in the hotel room. And it's perfect for making into the soup pocket. Now this particular soup pocket, I used our coffee and flowers paper pad for the background. I stenciled the beans and steam background here with the beans and added the thanks a latte stamp from the coffee is a pleasure stamp set. So that's how we did that one. So let's look at how we make the whole entire soup pocket. Now for this particular card, I did want to add a greeting to the inside. So we are actually going to start with the inside of this card. And we are using a basic A2 card format. So this card measures 8.5 by 5.5 and then we're scoring at 4.25. Before we put our sentiment on there, I'm going to stamp the word sending you. Pull that up so you can See it? And this particular little sentiment is from our Sending You stamp set. This is one of the things I love having as an essential. It has Sending You, and then you have a big long list of things. The biggest hug ever, strength and courage, love and laughter, lots of love. So these little sentiments are great as a little tag accent for a gift. But in this case, we're just going to stamp on the inside of our card, sending you. And I have already added that to the card before we got started. We are going to add the sentiment, lots of love, to the inside of this card. And I have previously die cut these pieces. I have my super tacky tape on the back. So I'm unrolling my tape and putting my paper in it before I die cut, and that makes my die cut a sticker. We're just going to set that in there. 
And then I had some basil foil cardstock. So I have cut my letters on some copper colored basil foil cardstock. And again, when I cut those, I already had my super tacky tape on the back. So we are going to peel the back off of our paper and set that in our card. We have our sentiment complete. And then I am going to add some hearts. We do have a new die, and this is called Hearts Round Frame. This is a fun die. We'll be doing um, a lot of really interesting things with it. But for this time, I cut it on the glitter cardstock. And then I'm just going to pull the hearts out and stick those on this card. And it just gives you that really nice pop of color. Now what's interesting is I already have my super tacky tape on the back. So all I have to do is stick those on my card. And you can see that provides a really nice touch for my card. Now, as we move to the front, we are going to be using our pumpkin harvest paper pad. And you can see here, there are really nice papers in here for you to use for all of your fall or autumn projects. Today, we're going to be using the gingham paper. We're going to use the leaf paper. And then we are going to put that um, orange and little white polka dot in there too. So we'll be using those out of the pumpkin harvest paper pack. We are going to start with our orange cardstock and we are going to locate the largest die in the set and we are going to set that on our paper. Now we have the paper that we're working here is a it's a gingham and so you want to make sure that when you go to die cut it that you tape it down so it stays in place we do not want it moving all around when we die cut it so we're going to tape that on and then run that through the die cut machine when we pull it out of our die cut machine we see that our stencil art tape has held everything in place we're going to use undo to suspend the adhesion on that art tape so that when we pull that off, it doesn't tear the face off of our cardstock. That undo is acid free and photo safe. So in a few minutes, it'll dry and everything will be fine. So this will be our base for our card. We're going to score that or fold that on the score lines, train our folds all the way around. And then um, we are going to put quarter inch tape all along the edge. So on the outer edge, I'm gonna run my quarter inch tape. And this is the piece that we are going to adhere to our card. We're gonna fold all those pieces in, bottom and the two sides, and then we will adhere them to the card front. But before we do that, we wanna add the mat for the front. So you will take this die and you will cut your choice of pattern paper. In this case, I chose the leaves. The leaves. We're gonna add those to our card. So I'm going to turn this over and add adhesive to the back and adhere that to the card. I have my paper adhered to my background and I wanted to show you on this card, we're going to add this little spoon and it is just tied on. So in this case, we're gonna die cut the spoon and we're going to tie it onto the card. If you're using the spoon that you find at the Dollar Tree, you're going to do the same technique that I'm about to show you. You don't have to add this, it's just a fun little technique. So what you're going to do, I've adhered those two pieces together, and now we are going to take our die that is designed specifically to cut the holes we're gonna cut the two holes in the card. This is the die that's in the set that I am referring to. This little die is in the soup packet die. So you can set that on your card and you just kinda of wanna get your spoon and figure out where, where you want your spoon to sit and where you want that to be. And then you're going to want to put a piece of our art stencil tape on there. Make sure that you have it straight 
and run that through your die cut machine. Now that will give you your two holes lined up perfectly for your card. I have taken it out of my die cut machine. I'm going to put, I'm going to put undo on it so that I can remove that tape liner or remove that art stencil tape without tearing up my paper front. And what will happen is that will pull off and then I can use my pick tool and I'll just pop those two, those two holes out. And now I have the two holes placed exactly where I want them. Now I have taken the spoon from the knife, fork, and spoon die. And I have cut that several times with our super tacky tape on the back of it. And we are going to layer those up just to give that strength and stability. So you can um, go buy the spoons at the Dollar Tree if you can find them or you can die cut them. We are um, talking about a lot of new product today. And we do have on our website, um, we are running a special from now until September the 1st. 2020 so this is a short time special and we are using if you use the coupon code coffee you will save 15 percent on your orders from now until september 1st you do need to put the coupon code in the shopping cart and um it's not valid on 12 by 12 paper this is x die cut machine or pdf files so we have our spoon ready there and what we're going to do is take our ribbon and we're going to stick it through the hole in the back on both sides. And then we will tie our little decorative spoon on the front. There we go. Now we have our spoon tied on. We are going to take the pocket die out of our set. We will die cut our pocket on craft. And then you have a little um, rectangle in there. And that is for the mat for your pocket. So I have already, I previously die cut these. We're going to score that on the folds or fold on the score. And we'll have a pocket that folds in at the bottom. And then we have this gusseted little pocket on the side. So we will adhere this to our front. So I have adhered this onto the front. And in this die set, there are two sentiment dies. There's an XXO and you can see I sized it to fit on the front of that pocket. And there's also a hugs sentiment and the hug sentiment has a little mat with it so i have cut that with my super tacky tape on the back and i have um, sized the word hugs to also fit on that pocket so we are going to layer that up and put our hugs on there on the front of our pocket now i did want to throw on a nice little heart from that other set and give ourselves a little heart down here just like that. Interesting, the glitter paper that I had um, actually was a scrap that I had and it already had the tape liner on the back of it. So I just die cut it and then I had that nice little pop of color for my card. And now we have our piece. So what we're going to do is turn it over and we are going to put tape on that back, on those back flaps. I'm going to show you a little trick. When I am doing a project like this, I like to use the super tacky tape and the liquid glue. It, the liquid glue will give you a really strong hold. And when you put the liquid glue on top of the super tacky tape, it gives you a little bit of time to kind of manipulate things. So that is how I do it. I have the Art Institute glue and I do have the steel nozzle on it, which is allowing me to control that adhesive and getting just a little bit of adhesive on there. Now I'm going to add my pocket to this. And when I do this, I lay that first flap down first, the bottom flap, and make sure I have it square, and then pull that other part up 
and stick it down. So I have the glue that's gonna give me really good strong hold and the tape that gives me quick grip. So you do need to know if you use the Art Institute like this, you will have, you won't have the ability to just take it off if you have undo and you wanna undo it. The liquid and the undo are not a good team because that liquid is permanent adhesion. Now I have my card front done. Oh, I need to add a heart. I did add a heart to this. I thought it needed a little pop. So I cut the uh, stitched heart die and we are just gonna stick that right in there Peel the back off, and we will stick that right down in there. Also, I wanted to mention, I made that pocket the way it is, I designed it, so that, for a particular reason, it is, um, you have the ability to stick fat stuff in it. So I want to show you here, you can see I added the uh, Werther's Original Caramel Candy to it, to go with the hot cider. And you can see that pocket is a little pudgy. And it's made that way on purpose. So you can stick marshmallows or whatever little pudgy thing <laughs> you want to put in it. We are going to remove the tape from the sides of this. And we are going to adhere this big piece to that card front. Just like we did with that little pocket. So I'm going to add some glue here. And um, glue on this tab over here really important because it's going to take quite a bit of stress so again thin line of glue but we're also putting glue right on top of that tape line so we have time to move things around if needed now when i stick this down i am going to fold that bottom flap up and fold those in and we're going to go on the card front and we're going to stick that bottom piece down first. Can you see how I'm holding that up? So I put the bottom piece, I get it centered on the card, and then I lay it down. And that will give you uh, mm -hmm. your piece centered on that card. This pocket that we die cut is slightly smaller than the card front. It is not made to be an exact fit. It is a little smaller. Now that is awesome. And we could leave it like this and call it done. But I thought it was nice to add the contrasting paper back here in the background. It's just a nice little touch. And so what I did was I took that die that we're using here, this die, and I cut it again on the coordinating cardstock. And what we're going to do is turn it around and slide it right into that pocket. And that will give us this really nice finished pocket that just lines up perfectly. So I'm going to turn this piece over and put super tacky tape all the way around it. So I have my super tacky tape all the way around it. And then I'm going to just add a little shot of undo because I am going to slide this into the card and I don't want that tape to stick in the beginning. So as long as it's wet, I have time to move that piece around and get it to sit exactly where I want it. And when it evaporates, I will have permanent adhesion. So I'm just going to push that down and then we will have permanent adhesion. Now we have the perfect place for our cider to go. And we can go to the dollar store and get the candy and stick the candy in there. And we have a really nice favor or gift or thank you to send or give away. Now, I have had a lot of people tell me that um, they do a lot of cards for people that are in the nursing home. And they thought this was going to be a great option and I had one lady even tell me that she was going to um, tie on the um, a chapstick on the front here with put a little mini glue dot and then tie that on, which I thought was a really great idea. So I'm just going over showing you these once again. I appreciate you hanging with me here and um, learning how to use the soup pocket die. 
You can find the soup pocket die on our website at www.creekbankcreations.com.